So I absolutely love building motorcycles and creating something from nothing and teaching you how I do it through these videos, but unfortunately, building them for other people can be quite disheartening. Things that are completely out of my control, whether it's materials or the people themselves. But while I'm explaining this, let's do the seat upholstery on Crystal's bike that I'm building for her. So far in this build, we have done the tank swap, we have painted the wheels and put new tires on, she's purchased new shocks, we have rebuilt the subframe, we've cut the old one off and rebuilt a complete new one, custom headlight bracket which I made, I've started the wiring and we're going to be using all motor gadget gear which is going to be awesome, the whole wiring system is going to be pulled out and we're going to replace it with everything motor gadget. I also built a scrambler headlight plate for this bike as well as a couple of headlight brackets with some clamps but we ended up going a different way with this bike so I ended up giving a couple of those away. And I've also built the electrics tray as well as a seat and now we're going to have the seat fully upholstered. I've had heaps of comments in the past from you telling me that building a motorcycle is like therapy and I 100% agree. And for those of us who are very creative and like to make things, it is much like riding the motorcycle. And if you ride a bike, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There is something extremely satisfying about creating something yourself and then having the finished product. It's just really hard to explain, but just like this motorcycle seat, a small little project like this can give you so much satisfaction. I'm here with Craig on the Gold Coast and Narang Motor Trimmers. He's done an amazing job of quite a few seats that I've done in the past. I just hope that this seat turns out the way we want it to because unfortunately when we had this material stitched and this material is really expensive stuff. It's the same stuff used in Lamborghinis. We had it sewn on a machine so the diamonds were all perfect but they sewed the diamonds in the wrong direction meaning that the material that we have with the diamonds on it was too short. So Craig and I were trying to figure out how we're going to make this work. Or do we have to just order a whole new piece of material which will be quite expensive because I think this piece alone is $200 with the stitching and the actual cost of the material. And unfortunately Craig doesn't work for free. And this isn't even the worst part so I'll explain that a little bit further in the video. So we decided we're going to do a flat section with no diamonds either at the front or the back. We went with the front but we don't have the bike here so we don't really know what it's going to look like until I get back to the garage and fit it to the bike when it's completely finished. Sometimes when we're creating things, mistakes can turn into absolute gems or features, which I'm hoping happens, or possibly they can be complete failures as well. Let's hope it's the first one. Building and creating things can take an extremely long time. And quite often I get asked, how long did that take you? Like that must've taken you hours to try and get that one piece made. Yeah, it does. It takes a long time, but do you really add all of it up, including this? And tell me I'm not the only one that sits next to my bike or has a beverage and just stares at things trying to figure out how you want it to look in the end. I'm sure I'm not alone. Leave me a comment if you're one of these people. I can tell you now that the time that you spend working on your bike, even the times when you're not actually doing anything, are memories. You're having a beer with your friends, have come over, they're all looking at the bike, discussing things, all the mess ups, the mistakes, the failures you've done. They're all gonna be stories that you're gonna be able to tell when you're actually out on your bike and you parked it somewhere and you're having a coffee and you're staring at your bike. You can tell people what happened and how you built it. So never look at those moments as though you've just completely wasted your time and never worry about the time that it takes because it's a journey. If you're focused on how long the bike is gonna take and you've got a goal and when you want it finished, that's totally fine, definitely go with that. But don't be so focused on it that you miss the journey. Things are gonna take three to four times longer than you probably anticipated. It's just the way it is. Under the seat is going to be all of the wiring. You can see it's been started. The motor gadget mo unit plus the mo button. 
we have the controls and everything, plus a gauge that's gonna be all fitted to this bike. So let's get this seat on and see what it looks like. Before we check out the seat on the bike, the most disappointing part of this whole entire build is completely out of my control. Crystal lives an hour away from me, which is totally fine. We get to work on it when she has time. She's extremely busy. But when she's here, we do some stuff. And unfortunately, it looks like she might be moving overseas and taking a new job which is a real disappointing thing for me when I put so much effort and time into something like this and then she doesn't even really get to appreciate it. So I don't know if she's getting the job, I'm not entirely sure what's happening with that, but I got the message and I was like, oh, you're kidding me. So I don't know what's gonna happen with the bike. I don't know whether we're going to be selling it. I don't know if we're going to be still building it and she's coming back. I really have no clue, but I can tell you it sucks. Well, personally, I think that is an absolute feature. It really breaks it up. It's a skinny, slim seat that just marries perfectly into the tank. I love it. I've sent a picture of it to Crystal. She loves it. Give us your feedback in a comment. Let us know, do you love it? Do you hate it? I just hope Crystal is around and she actually gets a chance to enjoy this bike. Make sure you leave a comment because if Crystal does end up sticking around, tell her from me to get her butt here in the garage so we can get her in some more episodes and get her working on her bike. Don't forget to check out the full playlist of this build, as well as some more videos on motorcycle seats.